So do you know the difference between necessary pain and unnecessary pain? So unnecessary pain in the physical sense is that pain where you can't even get up after a workout. It's not necessary. It, there's no timeline that would need you to be in pain on a daily basis. Now, if it's been months since you've worked out and you've just come back, yeah, you're going to be a little bit sore. But there's no, there's no other reason why you need to force yourself to feel that way. Because that's that 0 to 100 approach that uh, we've talked about in the past. It's, it's not something that's A, sustainable, and B, I would ever recommend so if you're taking the 80-20, you're going to be a little bit sore, you're going to be a little bit maybe achy, but you're going to feel good and not debilitated, not unable to get through your day. So it's important to make that distinction between you know, necessary and unnecessary physical pain. But then there's sort of the metaphorical experience around pain. And the the point of, of what I'm, I'm trying to reach at in, in this essence is you don't have to feel like you're dragging your feet all the time. You don't have to feel like it's too hard to keep up. You don't have to feel like it's a pain to continue. Then you're on the wrong plan. You're focusing on the wrong thing or we're approaching the wrong thing at the wrong time for you. So you, you need to find that that it, it should be uncomfortable. So there's some level of, of pain, if you want to call it that. It's... Uh, some sacrifice that is involved here, but it, it should not feel like it's a struggle, uh, especially over the, the the long term. Maybe there's some instances throughout the experience where, in that you know short little timeline, you, you don't feel like going to the workout, you don't feel like tracking, whatever it might be, but you do it and then you get over it, kind of thing. Uh, and that slight uncomfortableness, that slight pain is what is, is acceptable. It's, it's necessary pain because it's part of the growth process. And sometimes you're going to come up against obstacles that you have to fight your way through. You can't get around them. You have to go through them. Uh, and that, I would say, is also necessary pain. But don't make it so that you have to push through walls all the time because you're going to run out of energy, you're going to run out of resources, uh, and that is that zero to 100 mindset that I've talked about, one or zero, on or off, black or white sort of approach to things. You need to look at this like 80-20, like that, that dimmer, a little bit of a spectrum, you're going to apply energy, not all the way to 100, 80-20 is, is sufficient enough, uh, but the whole point is that you're going to be able to sustain it for a lot longer. There's going to be points where you feel a little bit uncomfortable. There's points where you have to sacrifice. There's points where we're going to go through the necessary pain. But by no means this, should this be something that you should feel is uh, either a physical or metaphorical pain uh, for extended periods of time.